Hey everybody, it's Glenn back with another Clash Royale analysis video. My personal high in ladder was 5,775 trophies. That's as far as I've gone, but it was before Clash Royale started its seasons. So it was more than a year ago that I was able to get that high in ladder. And I've never been able to get as far as there until this match that you're going to see. So yes, this was a win and it was pretty much unbelievable. And I knew I was going to record a video the moment I broke uh, my personal best. So here's the, here's the win that got me over the 5,775 uh, trophy, trophy count. And I'm still grinding. I'm still trying to get to 6,000. Hopefully uh, it just happened recently. So, uh, the season's ending in a couple days. I'm hoping to get 6,000 trophies by the end of this season, which is, it would be an amazing accomplishment. And it's something I've been striving for for quite a while. So anyways, let's get to the match here. We're going with the traditional deck and I have Hut. So let's just run, run, run with Hut. And they have Golem. So... The good thing about this is that I have all the resources ready to go up against Golem. It's what they're going to come with next after that. Decided to run Tombstone just to get some troops out there. And so they bring in Wizard. Okay, so they bring in Wizard, which tells me that they don't have Night Witch in the cycle. It's almost certain that you're going to have you're gonna have Night Witch with a uh, Golem. Gonna you just it, it's the perfect complement to to uh, Golem here. But they decided to go with Wizard, so I'm guessing Night Witch may be coming next. So this is an opportune time to put down the the Inferno Tower. Now th that was a hint, and you you see the rage here. But that was a hint about the the Inferno Tower is that. They didn't zap it, which means they don't have zap. And because they put Valkyrie down the and Rage, they don't have Lightning. So that's a good sign for for me as I'm playing against this Golem, which I hate Golems. So all we have to do is just survive this. Still don't have zap, no Lightning. If we just get through this, we're fine. One, two shots on the tower. Just two shots on the tower. So it could have been really bad. I decided to see if we can sneak in and attack with Mortar. They come down with Mini Pekka and E Wiz. We get rid of that. E Wiz is gone. So now we know they're pretty much their whole lineup. I'm guessing they still have a Night Witch. It, it wouldn't make sense to run a Golem deck and all of these support characters without Night Witch. So there's no lightning, no zap. I'm I'm pretty confident that if we just survive as many trips as they do to the to our end, we're gonna be we're gonna be okay and we should get this win. Although with the golem, you never know. It, it at times it can just get really overwhelming. So round two, we start over, and I have HUD again, so I'm just gonna slow build with HUD right at eight and then figure out what to do after that i'm pretty sure they're going to come with golem as their next card so it's a matter of when and here it comes so what am i going to next i i really have no plans of changing it up so we're going to run tombstone and then here comes the night witch okay so and I have to put down the Inferno Tower early because I don't want it to, to attack the bats. And that was a pure shot. And they had Rocket. So that was really surprising here. Because if they had Lightning instead of Rocket, they pretty much destroy all of what I have. And it's six, it's six to six, too. So it would have been a really good, really good play. But they decided to go with Rocket instead. And I think that might have uh, been the turning point here because if they had if they had lightning, this whole game is different, and it's in their favor too. So we get rid of everybody and decide to sneak in Mortar again. They bring Valkyrie, and that Inferno Tower is right in 
it had the right angle on that e was just the right spacing so we're able to get a few more shots in and i'm guessing round three is going to come any any moment here that tesla does a one shot on the e whiz i just didn't even want to deal with wizard so we just get rid of him and now now that this was this was it, it was a little bit hesitant because I was thinking about, okay, I'll just wait for Golem and and then play defense again and get to overtime because we had the lead. They really hadn't done anything. I just wanted to, to just preserve the lead. But I was like, you know what? I don't think they have anything. They're probably waiting. If they're waiting for Golem, then then it's time to at least make... I want them to make the play. Really, the play they should have made was to put Golem right in the center between the uh, right in front of the King Tower to the to the right of the left princess tower. That's how I would have played that because then the then cart is targeting that instead of the princess tower. But they played it to the back because they needed time to build up their their beatdown um setup. And that was the perfect opening to go right at the tower. They bring in Mini and then now we have pretty much it's just on us to survive this that's all it is we know they don't have lightning they have a rocket instead we just have to survive they're, they're bringing everybody we zap it we use rage and then at this moment i had put i put my fist up in the air because I was like, oh man, it was it was such a good feeling that after almost I would say more than a year, I, I can't remember when I got five thousand seven hundred seventy five, but it was more than at least a year ago. But to to be back at this level after trying so much, it was it was amazing, and I'm not stopping. I I want to get six thousand. That's my goal. It was it was my 2019 goal and it's my 2020 goal. And I'm hoping that at some point I will get there. And it's it's this is the first step toward uh, getting to that point. So, hey, we we broke our personal best and we did it against the goal, which was even sweeter. So <laughs> so I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. And uh, it, hopefully this inspires you to keep going as well. If you feel like you've plateaued, don't worry. You know, there's always there's always that next level there. Just keep keep grinding and keep studying, keep learning, and and uh, and don't stop. So, anyways, be sure to hit the like button wherever you are watching this. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.